Well, Chris, some people have unusual sexual preferences. I guess Joe is one of them. Oh, Brian, don't be such a prick all the time. Hey, man, you can't help who you're attracted to, but yeah, Jar Jar Banks, that shit is just plain weird. I think you here has a thing for midgets with giant ears and big floppy lips. A gross? I can't believe we have to listen to this. Pause it. Yeah, well, you know what they say, love is blind. God, Peter, what is wrong with you? You are such a mess. Why did we ever have children with you? Hey, Mom, Dad made a funny look about poop. Was so funny? I almost beat my pants. Jesus, Chris, can you keep it down? And Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? You like a child. Well, 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 looks like we have another episode of As the Stumach Turns on Our Hands. I wonder how this on will end. Yeah, why do I even bother trying to be nice to any of you? You're all just a bunch of assholes. Did you know that there is a myth about pit bulls called nanny dogs? It's supposed to mean that they were originally bred as nannies for children in England. But really, it's just a marketing ploy by breeders to make them seem less dangerous. I heard that those dogs are actually very sweet and affectionate with kids. Yes, but they can still be dangerous if not properly trained or socialized. They have a strong bite reflex and can easily lose control in certain situations. We should always supervise our children around any dog, no matter how friendly it seems. Oh man, why does everyone got hit on pit bulls? They arrows them. The nanny dogs are so cool too. You know, Chris, you remind me of a little boy who used to live next door to me when I was growing up in Massachusetts. We had a lot of fun playing together, and he loved my dog. Brian, I did you burn down that orphanage? Peter, stop being so stupid. You Brian, why are you? I believe Brian was trying to make a statement about Sechiti's treatment of the less fortunate. It was very effective, though. Wait, did I miss something? Oh my god, burns it hurt so much. What's wrong with you? Why are you screaming like a little girl? Calm down, Chris. Just take deep breaths. I can see the flames licking at your skin, consuming every inch of you. What's happening to me? Don't worry, son. I got some cream that'll take care of that burn right away. Gross. You always have some kind of ointment or lotion on you. Yeah, you must be really popular with the ladies. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks, Pete. What on earth is going on here? Did you guys get a new TV show or something? It looks really strange and I'm not sure if it's appropriate for the kids to watch. Oh my god. I can't believe you guys are watching this crap. How did we end up with such a dysfunctional family? Hey, don't blame us. We were born this way, baby. And Lois, if you want to get down and dirty with the devil himself, just let me know. I'll show you a good time. Ah. Peter, please don't talk about sex in front of Chris and Stewie. It's not appropriate. Oh man, was it such a buzzkill? Why can't she just let us have fun? We ain't hurting nobody. Actually, Chris has a point there. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything illegal or dangerous. It's just harmless entertainment that happens to involve the Lord of Darkness and the Son of God having sex with each other. What could be more interesting than that? You guys are all crazy. I can't wait until this show is over so we can go back to our... Dad, you're so stupid. You don't even know what a real flashlight is. It's not like I said one in heaven or anything. He was a sporty. He needed to get up somehow, I guess. No way, Chris. Jesus did have a literal flashlight up there with him. The holes were for self-pleasure only, you know? Besides it, he also used his hands and feet to pleasure himself when the mood struck him. Why do you think they call it holy hand jokes? Peter, you're an idiot. There is no way Jesus had a fleshlight or gave himself holy hand dogs in heaven. That's just absurd. And anyway, why would he need to masturbate when he had all those virgins waiting for him? 
Brian, could you please stop being such a pretentious crow at all and let Peter have his opinion without ridiculing him? I'm sure Jesus did whatever it took to satisfy himself up there in heaven. And anyway, who are we to judge what he does or doesn't do? Excuse me, but if you don't mind my asking, how exactly would a little fish light work for Jesus? Wouldn't the be too small for his big penis? I mean, he was after all divine and therefore had an enormous dick. So wouldn't it make more sense to just use your hands instead of some weird contraption like that? Guys, can we please stop talking about this? What is happening? Why is everyone running around like chickens with their heads cut off? I can't take this excitement anymore. Calm down, Peter. There's a tornado warning right now. We need to stay inside and be safe. What happened to our neighbors? They get blown away by the storm. Chris, stop being so dramatic. If there's no tornado yet. Let's just say calm and wait for it to pass. I can't believe we have to go through this again. This is the third time this month that a tornado warning has been issued. And you know what they say about three times being a charm. Guys, chill out. It's just a storm. We've been through worse, remember? Let's just sit down and watch some TV until it passes. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? What did you do this time, Chris? Yeah, what did you do? You know we gotta be careful with that Trump guy. I can help you get rid of the body, Chris. No, it wasn't like that. Accident or not, this is a serious matter. We need to come up with a plan. We can't let him get away with it, Chris. I have an idea. Let's blame it on the Russians. That's not a bad idea. They already hate us anyway. But what if they retaliate? This can start rule right? I don't think that would be so bad. Think of all the hot chicks who want to hook up with a soldier in times like these. You can't let this happen again, Chris. You need to it's learn from your mistakes. Liquid. You know what they say about mistakes, Lois. That's how you learn. Because it's not about the physical appearance, Brian. I mean, sure, they may not be traditionally masculine, but that doesn't make them any less attractive. It's more about their confidence and charisma, the hitch of the sense of power and control that is very alluring. And besides, were you to judge what is or is manly? You wear pants with elastic waistbands for crying out loud. I do not my pants have zippers like any normal person's would. But whatever, let's just drop it. I don't want to fight about this anymore. Fine by me, Brian. Let's just enjoy the show and forget about our difference for now. All right, time for my favorite topic, sex toys. Now I'm no expert, but I have done some research, and here are my top picks. What do we even do here? This place is terrifying. I can't believe we got sucked into this. Dude, it's messed up. We were just going in the kitchen and then bam, we're in hell. How did this happen? Did anyone do anything to deserve being brought here? I don't know about you guys, but I didn't sign up for this shit. This is insane. Guys, chill out. It's not that bad. We can totally handle this. Peter, are you serious right now? We're in hell. What could we possibly do to fix this? I know, Mom. Sometimes Dad Ross doesn't get it. He thinks he can solve everything with his stupid ideas. Well, someone has to try and find a way out of here. It's not like we can stay in hell forever. Yeah. But how? We don't even know where to start looking for a way out of this place. I say we just keep walking and see what happens. Maybe we'll stumble upon something that could help us escape. That sounds like a plan, Peter. Let's do it. Okay, let's go, Matt. Keep coming. Sure, I guess so. That's not the only thing you roll, Peter. Curtis finally understands what they were saying and laughs loudly at Stewie's insult as he continues to walk around seemingly oblivious to everyone else. 
Okay, guys, let's focus here. We need a plan. Ada suggests they should just go and steal the treasure from one of their neighbors who has recently passed away. Lowe's disagrees, saying that it is not right to steal someone else's property, but Chris doesn't seem to mind as long as he gets his share. Rian shakes his head, clearly disapproving of Peter and Chris' idea, while still he continues to look for a more sophisticated solution using the internet. Meg is seen. <laughs> Hey, Lois, look at these idiots. I don't know why you watch this show, Peter. It's terrible. This is my favorite part of the show. In this trial, we will determine whether or not Quagmire is guilty of eating Stewie. As the judge, I shall preside over this trial and ensure that...